Hi y'all, welcome to the Water Systems Project. In this activity, you're going to be learning about what a water system is and some of the science and engineering behind it. You're going to build a model one for yourself, meet an engineer along the way, and of course, have a ton of fun. Here's a little bit of background on the activity. Let's pretend you're the chief water engineer of your growing city and it needs a brand new water system. Do you think you're up to the task to use the engineering design process to design, build, and then test out a real pipeline and water system using some fun materials? And before we get started, just to emphasize the importance of this stuff, can you quickly pause this video and ask yourself, what are some things that you do when you wake up in the morning that require water? A few that we thought of were brushing your teeth, showering, or flushing the toilet. Now imagine waking up one morning, turning on the sink, and realizing there's no water. That would change our lives, and not in a very good way. See, water doesn't just magically appear. It takes a large network of pipes, pumps, tanks, and even people, which all make up what we call a water system. If you're looking for a technical definition of water system, it's a system of engineered components that provide water to people and places. We do a separate project where we focus on filtering the water, but for this activity, we can pretend that it's already clean, and it's your job to distribute it to different houses around the city. Here are some pictures and examples so you know what you're getting yourself into. As far as the history goes for water systems, it actually does have some pretty fun facts. If you think about it, it really wasn't that long ago where humans could only live near large bodies of water because they had no way to move it. But that's why canals and aqueducts were invented to help transport that water safely. But they still had their flaws, like bugs or animals flying into what was supposed to be their clean water. Nowadays, technology has evolved like crazy and these water systems are pretty complicated. Plus, we've made new discoveries like groundwater, which enables cities like Phoenix, Arizona, and Las Vegas, Nevada, which are located in the middle of the desert, to thrive. Even though those cities are located nowhere near a natural, large body of water. So to wrap up this video, friends, why should we care about all this? Well, for one, water is a tricky and a finite resource, so we need to make every effort we can to preserve it for future generations. Also, we mentioned these systems nowadays are pretty cool, but they're still not perfect. So it's going to be up to you all, the future engineers and water professionals, to keep advancing these systems so we can deliver safe water to all.